she had puppies, then dumped. A gash on her chin told she was tossed out of a car. There's a special place for people like that. Well, she may have had the gash from jumping off the back of the truck that they left open. So this is what you're showing me to prove what bad people they are? No. I have the medical reports from that vet. I'd like to read it. Um, on the I, top I, No, is... don't tell okay. me what I'm there reading. Don't tell me what <laughs> I'm reading. It's the first thing I learned when I got my Juris Doctor. That's their medical report? Uh, general findings. Patient was found in a roadside ditch in a country near Rancho Seco. General findings, whole body. Depressed, dehydrated, ambulatory. You are stereo with severely increased effort on inspiration and expiration. I suppose that means inhaling and exhaling. Mild mod crackles on all lung fields. Worse, ventrically. Yeah. Assessment, suspect heat stress stroke. Well, that tells you so much of your genius in taking well, the two... Well, they suspect that. Hey, it's your evidence. Oh, I, I still have it's another your, one Just a second. Proof. It's your evidence. Okay. Suspect, this is from the doctor, there is bronchiosophatic airway obstruction syndrome, likely aspiration pneumonia, temperature high normal, now after resting indoors, likely heat stress as contributory to the above. Prognosis, poor. Your evidence. Respiratory distress pneumonia, both potentially fatal. Unknown metabolic component of heat stress potentially life-threatening. After stabilizing, surgery is likely required to address the bronchial airway syndrome. Oh, that would be you, elected euthanasia, okay? The dog expired, the owner's elected home burial. If you look at the temperature of the dog, it'd be one I'm not two. looking at the temperature of the dog. I just read you what the doctor said. Prognosis is poor. I have one of that, that similar to that one, but this is from my vet that I took her to. Just a second. I don't care about your vet. Unless your vet saw the dog that day, I don't care about your vet. Take it, use it as bottom for a birdcage. This is what the vet found when he took the dog to the vet, which he didn't have to do. First of all, he could have driven away. That's one thing you can do. Instead, he took this very heavy dog that was clearly in a lot of distress, took it to a vet, had it analyzed. I mean, I don't know if you paid anything. Did you pay anything to the vet? It was $134. Just a second. Did you pay him back? Hey. No, I didn't. Tension. OK, so the answer is no. So this stranger, instead of taking your dog and dumping the dog at a pound, takes the dog to his vet, costs him $134 for your stupidity, yours and or your wife's stupidity, from A, taking the two dogs to the park in 90 degree weather, and B, leaving the door open so that the dog could get out, and then proceeding to enjoy the party, enjoy the party, without calling every vet, every shelter, every anything, for the six hours of the party. Now, Mr. Vu. I don't believe you're hearing me out right now, though. I don't care. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing to hear you out about. OK. There's nothing to hear you out about. I mean, you can create any fantasy story you like. You have a man who found your neglected dog on the side of a road. He didn't find her. Oh, who found her? Someone else found her and then called this rescue to pick her up. So, even better, 